Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 13 mini and compare it against the iPhone 12 mini and see which specific phone is a better one for you. Now, if you want to pick up either one of these devices, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, side by side on the front, you can definitely tell there are some clear similarities here for sure. With the iPhone 12 mini, this was the first mini iPhone Apple has ever made. This was supposed to be, you know, the more, but it wasn't supposed to be a budget phone. It was supposed to be, I guess, the direct successor to an iPhone 11, since they were at the same price tag. But it was supposed to be a smaller model. And I think Apple did a pretty good job with the concept of it. But with the 12 mini, they didn't do the best job. So on the front, we had a 5.7 inch Super Retina XDR OLED panel. And it was a pretty good looking display. You know, I still think it looks pretty good for the most part. You have the notch up top. You have a little bit of bezel around it. It's a 60 hertz panel, so nothing super crazy here. But I think it still looks pretty good. You know, the colors look very, very nice. And with this wallpaper, this phone looks really beautiful. With the iPhone 13 mini, it was kind of more or less the same exact phone for the most part. Like, it wasn't the biggest difference of all time. It was still maintaining the same exact size of the display. So the same, you know, 5.7 inches. So nothing insanely small, nothing insanely big. It's so almost more or less what you'd expect. But I will tell you they did kind of change a few things one they did end up changing the notch size a little tiny bit you might not even be able to tell with the camera but they did change it just a tiny bit like a little bit slimmer but it still looks pretty good there's not too much to complain about i would say the 13 mini probably looks better on the front but the rest of the bodies are almost identical so if you look at the sides here they're almost identically the same thing like there's very little differences here which isn't really that big of a deal i feel like the 13 mini and the 12 mini both feel very good in the hand and you can't really get too much better than this until you get to the pros. So it's only okay. You have the lightning ports at the bottom too. Not much has changed. And on the back, we do have our back glass backs on both. Now you can clearly see my 12 mini is completely cracked up. And I kind of feel bad for this iPhone, but just one of those things. You can see that the cameras are diagonal on the 13 mini. With the 12 mini, they were like up and down from each other. And, and that is pretty much it. I mean, you have wireless charging on both. You have MagSafe capability. So if you want to use those MagSafe accessories, you have that type of capability. You also have IP certification on both. Maybe not my 12 mini anymore, but you have IP certification on both of them. And that kind of covers it up. I would definitely tell you on the outside, way more similarities than there are differences. But I think both these phones look great. And there's not really too much to complain about there. Now, in terms of software and longevity, this is going to be the area where the 12 mini isn't really going to outperform on the iPhone 12, on the iPhone 13 mini. This phone is definitely going to be lasting for the next several years, but the iPhone 13 mini is definitely going to outlast the iPhone 12 mini when it comes down to the software support. So that's something that just happens. We're pretty much expecting that to happen pretty much, you know, since day one of these phones coming out. And the 14 and the 15 and the 16 will outlast both these phones. So not really too much to complain about there. But these phones are still going to be lasting for a very, very long amount of time. So whether you have the 13 mini or the iPhone 12 mini, I wouldn't really freak out. They're both going to be lasting for many, many years to come. So that pretty much covers it up there as well. Now let's go and do a speed comparison between both these devices. The iPhone 12 mini has that Apple A14 bonding chip inside of it with 4GB of RAM. With the iPhone 13 mini has that Apple A15 bonding chip inside of it with 4GB of RAM as well. So let's go see which one's the faster phone between both. Okay, there we go. Hopefully it looks good over the camera. It looks a little weird on my angle. 12 mini is here. 13 mini is here. Let's get into it. Phone calls, 3, 2, 1. About the same thing. Music, 3, 2, 1. About the same thing, too. Let's go into their app stores, 3, 2, 1. Okay, we both are not having Wi-Fi here. Settings, 3, 2, 1. About the same thing. Let's do news, 3, 2, 1. Now, a lot of these are not going to open. I just realized because they're not going to the Wi-Fi in either one. But that's totally okay for the time being. Don't even know if there's supposed to be a pop-up or not, so we'll just go and hop out of both those. Let's get into camera, three, two, one. Okay, little pop-up here, not that big of a deal. Let's go and take a photo, three, two, one. We did have flash come up here, and we did have the night mode come up here, so it's very interesting we had a little like difference there. Let's go and open up this photo, three, two, one. Okay, the iPhone 13 mini didn't want to open. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's get into photos, three, two, one. Okay, not that big of a difference there. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's go and hop out of these two. Let's get into some of these third party applications. So let's try something like stack three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing there. Let's try something like temple run two, three, two, one.
And so far, I will be honest, these phones were almost identically the same thing. There was like very little differences between these two. In fact, the iPhone 12 mini outperformed the iPhone 13 mini there, which didn't really make too much sense to me at all. I think, I mean, those were basically the main applications I had that were similar between them. We can try other ones like Files 321. The 13 mini slightly faster there, Stocks 321. And they're both not connected to Wi-Fi, I forgot. Let's try something like Contacts 321. About the same thing. iTunes Store 321. Totally messed that one up too, but we'll load that one up in the background. Books 321. So, I mean, I will tell you when it comes down to it, <laughs> I think both these phones are almost the same type of performance. There's really, like, not that big of a difference if I was using one over the other one. I probably wouldn't be able to tell that big of a difference between each one, if I'm being honest. So, in terms of the speed comparison, that kind of covers it up there. Now, in terms of the cameras, like I said, my iPhone 12 mini has a completely cracked back. But that's totally okay. It doesn't look like it affects the camera quality. So, on the back, we have dual camera setups on both, a wide and ultra-wide camera. We also have the ability of shooting 4K at 60 on the front and the back of both these phones, which is beautiful. So on the back of the 12 mini, I, you know, I like this camera when it first came out, but I will tell you the 13 and 14 have better cameras by quite a bit than the 12 and the 11. So I will say the 12 and 11 are more in common, the 13 and the 14 are more in common, and with these cameras, you know, there's a lot of similarity here for sure. So you do have, you know, the video mode, photo mode, all these other modes as well, standard stuff, portrait mode, panorama mode. But you are getting a lot more modes on the, or you're getting a one more additional mode on the 13 mini, which we'll talk about. But the 12 mini's camera is still good. Really, you know, no matter what you're going to do, you're probably going to have a pretty decent time with it. If you're taking Snapchat videos and TikTok videos or whatnot, you're still going to be perfectly fine with this type of camera. It may not be perfect, it may not be the best camera, but I think it does a pretty good job overall. Now with something like the iPhone 13 mini, I do feel like this camera is probably the better one. Actually, I will say it is the better one. It definitely gives you better quality photos and videos. And from some camera tests that I've done, it actually is kind of a bigger difference than you'd even realize. In this case, you wouldn't really be able to tell. But with this type of camera, you are getting a pretty solid lens overall. So you're getting video mode, photo mode, but you are getting this new cinematic mode, which is honestly very cool. Cinematic mode is really awesome, and I think that in and of itself, you know, it's like portrait mode for video. And that's a really cool thing that we have going for with something like the iPhone 13 mini. The 14 also has it. The 12 mini does not have that, which can be a little bit of an annoying thing for some people. So I think that's a pretty cool thing we have going on for something like the iPhone 13 mini or the iPhone 12 mini. So to kind of sum up this whole entire video, what I'd probably tell you is, I do think that the iPhone 13 mini is probably the better phone when it comes down to it. You know, I've always felt like the 13 mini was a pretty big upgrade coming from the 12 mini, especially in that battery life standpoint, which was the worst area of the iPhone 12 mini. But I will say, if you have something like the 12 mini and you're okay with it, then by all means keep it. But I look at something like the 13 mini, and this is a really good phone, don't get me wrong, and this is probably worth the money over the 12 mini. But like I said, if you have something like the iPhone 12 mini and you're completely okay with it, I would probably recommend keeping it for as long as you can, and if you're willing to go and upgrade to the 13 mini, by all means, I think it's a really good upgrade. So, in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.